today we are going to discuss about embryo pattern formation and its regulation the embryo develops from a fertilized egg cell positioned within the embryo sac you can see here this is a structure of an ovule this is embryo sac and here is the egg cell after fertilization zygote is formed and this zygote then elongates about threefold uh, along the future apical basal axis followed by an asymmetric division that generates a small uh, embryonic apical daughter cells and larger extra embryonic basal daughter cell this basal daughter cells and its derivatives repeatedly uh, divide horizontally thus forming a filamentous suspensor of 6 to 9 cells long in contrast the apical daughter cells and its derivatives undergo a series of highly coordinated uh, cell division to form a globular embryo. So this is a globular embryo. Pattern formation during embryogenesis generates a basic body organization, including the formation of the main axis, cotyledons, and uh, root and shoot apical meristem. One of the first patterning events after fertilization is setting up the apical basal axis of the zygote. The formation of apical pattern comprises the generation of cotyledons and uh, shoot apical meristem and basal domain comprises the hypocotyl, the radical and the primary root meristem. First is apical basal patterning. The Arabidopsis egg cell is small, measuring only about 20 micrometer. Upon fertilization, this zygote uh, expands about 3 to 5 times in the future apical basal axis of the embryo before dividing asymmetrically. Then two other cells, apical cells and basal cells, they differ in fate, division plane, and the gene expression. Smaller apical cell gives rise to most of the embryo, changes its plane of division from horizontal to vertical and expresses several genes such as ATML1, PIN1, MP, BDL that are not expressed in the basal daughter cells. Then Basal daughter cells it divides uh, horizontally to give a file of six to eight cells, which all but the hypophysis consider the extra embryonic suspensor. Apical basal polarity of the embryo become apparent uh, within the establishment with the establishment of hypophysis at the basal end of the octant uh, pro embryo. So. Uh, hypophysis adopts its embryonic fate secondarily. At this stage, the pro embryo consists of two tides, uh, each of four cells. The upper tide will give rise to the apical region from which the shoot meristem and most of the cotyledons travel, whereas the lower tide will give rise to the central region generating the remainder of the cotyledons, the hypocotyl, the embryonic root, and the upper tide of the root meristem cells. Basically, the adjacent hypophysis, hypophysis will produce the basal region of the embryo from which the question center here, this is question center here. So question center of root meristem and the lower tides of stem cell will originate as uh, with the daughter cells of the zygote. The three embryo reasons are distinct in terms of cell reason, gene expression, and uh, pattern, and cell fate. So, hypophysis will produce the basal reason of the embryo. Recently, it was shown that upon fertilization, the cytoskeleton components like actin, filament, and microtubules also dynamically rearrange in order to establish the pattern essential for proper asymmetric zygote reason. As you can see here the arrangement of uh, all these uh, cytoskeleton components like microtubule, actin, uh, vacuoles. Uh, you can see here the arrangement in the egg cell, then in zygote, in elongated zygote, in one cell stage embryo, how they are arranged. So it is observed that both actin filaments and the vacuolar membrane protein, SGR2, are essential for polar vacuole distribution. Next is radial patterning and the origin of tissues. 
In Arabidopsis, the radial pattern is established successively starting from the periphery. At the octant stage, at the octant stage, periclinal division uh, of the proembryo cell generates an outer layer. I can see here at uh, in dermatosin stage. So uh, it generates outer cells of epidermis and the group of inner cells. Epidermis cells then divide only anticlinally. First reason was periclinal, means parallel to the surface uh, of the cell. Then anticlinally only, uh, thus maintaining this layer means epidermis. The establishment of the epidermis layer is reflected in the expression pattern of two closely related homeobox gene, that is ATML1 and PDF2. Both genes are initially expressed in all proembryo cells up to the octant stage, but subsequently only in the epidermis cells. So their expression appears to be maintained in the epidermis cells throughout the development from embryo, uh, embryogenesis to the flowering uh, plant stage. The formation of additional tissue layers is confined to the central region of the uh, proembryo. So inner cells then divide these cells then divide periclinally to form layer of ground tissues and provascular cells in the center. Provascular cells and ground tissues in the center. So, epidermis, ground tissues, and provascular tissues are the primary tissue uh, types. Another round of periclinal division then subdivide the provascular uh, tissues into pericycle and centrally located conductive tissue cells. Finally, ground tissues cell undergo asymmetric division to form the outer layer of uh, uh, cortex cells and the inner layer of the epidermis cells right so finally this ground tissues they will undergo asymmetric division to form outer layer of cortex cells and the inner layer of endodermis cells then shoot marrow stem of Rabidopsis originates from the upper tire of the octant stage uh, proembryo that uh, give rise to the apical region of the embryo. Following the formation of epidermis, the four inner cells start to uh, express uh, homeobox genes. W U S C H E L, Wurzel, means W U S, uh, which later on marks the uh, organizing center of the shoot meristem. During the subsequent cell division, only the centrally located daughter cells continue to express these factors, W, U, S. Now, these cells are located above the provascular cells within the central region of the uh, embryo, suggesting that a signal um, uh, emanating from the provascular cells maintains this, uh, the expression of W, U, S. In the globular embryo, the homeobox gene uh, STM is expressed in a stripe across the embryo apex. Additional regulatory genes such as Kevota1, CLV1, CLV3 are expressed in the shoot meristem primordium of the herd stage embryo. Then, in Rabidopsis, a small group of uh, continuous pericycle. Uh, means in rhabdopsis, a small group of pericycle cells de-differentiate, divide once along the root and then change the plane of the division by 90 degree, giving of the outer layer of cells. So early development of the lateral root meristem appears to recapitulate radial patterning of primary root as uh, indicated by the expression of the tissue specific uh, molecular markers and by complete defect in radial patterning mutants such as uh, SCR or uh, SHR. SCR means uh, uh, transcription factor, uh, group, uh, sorry, scare group, and uh, SHR, transcription factor, shoot uh, and um, uh, root. At the end of the early phase, a root meristem is formed at the tip of the later root primordia and this secondary root meristem is originated like the primary root meristem and both are subject uh, to the same genetic regulatory mechanism 
uh, thus one type of the stem cell system goans root development which essentially adds new tire uh, to the existing root in rhabdopsis root meristem consists of two types of stem cell uh, surrounding an uh, organizing center which has been uh, dubbed cushion center i can see here this is cushion center because uh, uh, of its uh, mitotic inactivity so lower tire of the stem this lower tire of stem cells produce daughter cells that contribute to the central root cap right so the upper tire of the stem cell generates new types of the cell extend the tissue layers of the root the outermost ring of the stem cell produce not only epidermis but also lateral root cap and this light blue in color then the root cap this root cap it shields the root meristem uh, against mechanical damage as the root tip grows into the soil then a little i will tell you about the genomic studies of embryo development functional and molecular studies have identified signaling pathways and uh, transcription factors that regulate the first division of the zygote the woxtf family genes wox2 and wox8 are co-expressed in the zygote after the first asymmetric division wox2 is expressed in the apical daughter cell and wox8 is uh, specifically expressed in the basal uh, this basal daughter cell of the zygote the elongation of the zygote and its first asymmetric division are regulated through the yoda uh, by the mitosin activated protein kinase 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 mapkkk mapkkk act through the map kinase kinases mpk3 and mpk6 to phosphorylate and activate the wrky2 tf thereafter wrky2 promotes wox8 transcription in the zygote and the YDAMAP signaling cascade in the zygote is initially activated by a paternal short suspension. A paternal contribution is also required for the YDAMAP cascade. So, early embryo packing in Arabidopsis also requires the accumulation of hormone auxin in the apical cell, driven by polar uh, transport from the suspension. This Polar auxin transport is mediated by auxin efflex transporter PIN7, which is expressed in the basal cell uh, lineage. Later in embryo development, other auxin transporters uh, such as PIN1 are expressed in the apical proembryo. Auxin regulates pattern formation in embryo and thus defects in uh, auxin response, uh, auxin biosynthesis, and auxin transport affect embryonic development. Embryo pattern, embryo patterning process, and embryo maturation program are also promoted by MIRNAs. Uh, this MIRNAs here, uh, MIR uh, 165 and 166, it's demonstrated their role during embryogenesis by restricting homeobox leucine zipper family. TLs and uh, MIR 156 and 157 is by repressing uh, uh, sucrose promoter binding protein like uh, SPL TF genes, both of which are required for proper division of root meristem precursor cells. And the um, MIR 156, MIR 159, MIR 160, MIR 166, and 171 and 319 families among the most highly expressed uh, mirnas in early uh, mg